I'm sorry I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't think- or I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? <laughs> That's the relief. I also- Oh, also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our f it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Luke. Yeah, no, it's about it's about the future and technology and stuff. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in, this, in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is going to be symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh... You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Luke. Uh, me too. <laughs> this game is silly. Okay, next, obviously, Natsuki, because she's the tsundere one. Uh, what's about? Uh, what is the Natsuki voice? It's sort of like almost bratty. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That, that's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't- it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Ah. Well anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Okay. I mean, that was something. Yeah! I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't Oh, why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't, isn't the point of poems for people to... Oh, no, that... <laughs> I'm trying to focus on doing her voice, I'm bad at it though. But isn't it that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! <laughs> ah, I, I, I'm sorry if my voice is inconsistent. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, uh, let me go with Sayori next. This is a good poem, Luke! Alright, I gotta make sure I have her, her voice. Are you sure it's your first time? Hers is just really high, essentially, but I'm also- it's basically the same as, uh, Monica's, so... It's not easy. Uh, of course, maybe- it's not that good. What other kind of voice could I do for her? Uh, am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why you impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you would, wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Luke. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. 
Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. <laughs> Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? This will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Oh, it was her that was bad at this, sorry. Uh, Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Best ending. Best ending to a poem. 10 out of 10. Ah, uh, okay. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. I, j just a little bit. You can't, ans you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> Don't be mean! I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? It's, it's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun! Monica's the best! Ah, uh, yeah. But but next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Well, I guess I look forward to it. And Monica. The club leader. Uh, uh what, what voice is her? I mean, she's basically exactly the same as, uh... As, as the last one, so... Uh, Hi, Luke! <laughs> I don't know, can, I have the slightly lower high voice for Yuri. I have the sort of sassy voice for, uh, for, um, her, uh, I'm still, I still don't know the names coming. Uh, having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to... <laughs> I will be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off knowing or going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Luke. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's the sort of barrier we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, great job, Luke. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to... <laughs> it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Uh, you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Well, actually... When I was choosing my words, I was going for deep, so I guess it worked out. That, that's kind of cool. Uh, I like Sayori, who uses simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it. Uh, both allowing, yeah, just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the new nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. Never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up... <coughs> oh, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? 
Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have... I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in a wall. Or hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spar... The spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina's already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's kind of confusing. I don't know what that one's about. <laughs> so, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Nah, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say that it's some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another thing about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you can just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. <laughs> Thanks for listening. All right. Does that mean the day's almost over? Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated, as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I saw it. Mm. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange pieces of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? <laughs> Um, did you say something? <laughs> no, it's, it's nothing. Nasuki dismissively turns, returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, 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 oh, wait. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying, trying to say something nice. Eh! You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come up nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if, I was looking for, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Luke did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Luke liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Hey, That's not what I... Uh, you, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Luke appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Huh? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Luke started <laughs> showing up. Holy hell, what is happening? <laughs> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that... <laughs> um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys! 
Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Luke! She, she, she's trying to make me look bad. bad. <coughs> That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Uh, the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Luke. Wait, there's a reason I have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to com convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is n not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Luke? Um... Well... <laughs> How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, uh, here we go. Which one do I care of more? Do I care more about Yuri or Natsuki? I think, uh... I, I don't really... Hmm, I feel like this is a cop-out. I feel like I have to actually choose. And I spent this entire time with Yuri, I think I probably should just go full Yuri the entire, uh, the entire playthrough this time. Maybe? Or maybe I should switch it up. Let me go with the Tsundere type? Nah, nah, I'll stick with Yuri. Ooh. Nits Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously! Mm, I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret I was impressed. W well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still... Oh, well... See, I'm not, I'm not taking sides here, though. So that choice probably means something slightly different. They're still putting feeling in, into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh... But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I... Th Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I ended up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk to clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to- You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'll s it'll spare me from having to look at your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. <clears throat> I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands as she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could I... No, how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Luke. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, the one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So... Eh? Huh? What thing did Natsuki say? <laughs> uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna make some tea. <laughs> ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Alright. Going full Yuri. <sighs> okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Luke, what about or Luke, what about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing. Or in that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learn something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. Oh, it's, it's gonna be this every time. All right. I think to myself, did I? 
Or I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job at impressing those I want to impress. A nod to myself with the newfound determination. Okay. Luke! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sorry beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sorry and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that! I promise they're both wonderful people! You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Luke, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's <laughs> every day's every day's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Said that more to myself than to her. It's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah, let's do this. Alright, and that is the end of... That is the end of day two. We're gonna continue it in the next episode. I don't know exactly what segments I'm splitting these up into. I'm just recording the whole thing. So, uh, next episode, we're gonna make this poem. And it looks like we're gonna make it in favor of Yuri. I think that is the choice we're gonna make. So I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.